Which of you, when building a tower, doesn't first sit down and calculate the cost, Jesus said in Luke 14, 28. What is the cost to being a follower of Christ? Let me give you five tiers. Sometimes you can go to a place and choose special one or special two. Each one costs a little different. Here's cost one. A person drops into church from time to time and once in a while puts some money in the offering plate. That's kind of tier one. Here's tier two. A person is regular in church, and they regularly put something in the offering plate. Tier two. Is that the cost? Here's tier three. A person is almost always in church. They tithe, and they serve in the church on a committee or a board or in leadership of some type. Is that the cost? Here's tier four. A person's almost always in church. They tithe, they serve in the church, and they study the Bible. Not just devotions, but they look in the background, they buy a couple commentaries, they might spend a year studying the Sermon on the Mount. Tier four, is that the cost? How about tier five? Person's regular in church, they tithe, they serve in leadership, they actually study the Bible with some commentaries they own, buy some resources, and they know how to listen to the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit says, talk to this person, don't say that. This is a verse I have for you today. Oh, I want you to do this tomorrow, even though you haven't done it in a while. Tier five, is that the cost? Or is the cost greater than that? I think each of us has a mental cost in our mind, which Jesus wants us to pay. But here's the twist. First sit down, he says, and calculate the cost. It comes from the saying of a man named David Martin Lloyd-Jones, who was a physician in London. He was part of the extended staff of the royal family as a young man. But the Lord called him to preach, and he went out to a small mission church in Wales. People asked him, how could you give up a promising medical career? And he said, I gave up nothing. I gained everything. When you're in the service of Christ, no matter what the cost, the gain, are the unsearchable riches of Christ. The gain is far more than any price you might have to calculate. This is your daily devotional for Friday. I hope you're doing well. Hope you're consistent in prayer and studying the scriptures. Hope you'll pray for the church and pray for me. Seek first the kingdom of God and remember Jesus said, Blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. God bless you today.